Alright everybody, we are back in the game and most of you will recognize this um, selection screen. Yes, it's uh, Medieval 2, Total War, Britannia Campaign, and the one that's flashing is Norway. Alright, that's one of my favorite units in Vanilla Medieval 2, the Gotland Footman, which you can only get... Um, yeah, you can't even get them in the vanilla campaign, can you? You can only get them in the Teutonic one and this one. Unless, of course, you mod them in. Right, so we will be playing as the Vikings. Uh, I'm going to call them Vikings. We're going to be on very hard, very hard, but we're going to do a short campaign. The only difference between short and long is an extra 10 regions. Let me get my time on. I do love this music. It's awesome. So uh, let's uh, get started. Um, I suppose we could read through that. It's not that much, or you could just pause it and uh, read it yourself. Uh, we should get a little a video, so we'll go and watch that. Britannia, a land of emerald isles, a land of kings, a land of war. England. King Henry sits upon a hungry throne, thirsty for more land. The Norwegians, warriors happy to pay the blood price for their ambitions. Scotland, from the highlands and across the lowlands comes a spirited people ready for battle. Wales, a people of song and sword, and leaders that will bend their knees to no man. And Ireland, suspicious of his neighbors, the Irish warrior never sleeps, though he dreams of conquest. Britannia, one realm, five kings, total war. That's right, it's a total war, yes. Now, we've already done a Welsh campaign, haven't we? And um, we're actually doing a Scottish campaign in Stainless Steel version 6.4 at the moment. And we've almost wiped out the English in that. Now, um, it's actually been a very, uh, very long time. Uh, in fact, so long, I can't even remember the last time I played this campaign. But... I believe there's an interesting mechanic in it, whereby the more territory you take, um, the more supplies you get from your homeland, um, from Scandinavia. You get um, more Viking settlers or Viking armies that will um, land on the coastline as you start expanding. So that's interesting. So we do need to take territory. Now, we zoom in, we're a little dispersed. We have um, Shetland Islands and we have. Oh, I don't even know the name of this island. Well, it's part of the Outer Hebrides. Um, there's an island chain called the Inner Hebrides and an outer chain called the Outer Hebrides. Now, I don't know this particular island. I'm sure somebody watching will know it. Uh, I could go and look on the map. Right, now we've got 10k. We're actually predicting to lose some money. Are we at war with anybody? We are not at war with anybody. We don't have any alliances. And we've got two spies, three merchants, no diplomats. Alright, looks like we've got... You're not going to be having any kids, are you? You need to get busy. Um, so yeah, we don't want to get him killed off. Uh, military forces. Looks like we've got three um, navies. How many settlements do we have? Three? Six. We've got six regions. Alright. Well, we need to get those troops out and uh, start attacking somebody. Don't know... Um, where all the settlements are in this campaign. As I said, it's been a very long time. 
Now there's a village. Let's see, we could convert it, but we can also get it to grow pretty quickly. Alright. <clears throat> now that would give us some uh, archers. We do need culture. Uh, you get the culture from these buildings, don't you? The churches. They don't give religion, they give culture. Well, we can get a lot of good units there. That's another one of my favourite units. Uh, now the intro screen did say that we're lacking in heavy cavalry. However, we can, I think, get mailed knights. So those would be shock cavalry. These are melee cavalry. And those are light cavalry. Uh, we are good at melee. Right, that would give us archers. And that's in a good position to strike out at other territory. But that's 2400. I suppose we'll pay for it. Mm. This one has a long way to grow. What is our culture here? 55% uh, insurgents. We need to get rid of those insurgents. Well, we can already get peasant archers. Uh, border horse and spinner. What's the difference? Uh, those are 420, 350. 5, 4 and 6. 5, 4 and 6. So, these cost more to recruit, cost more to maintain, but have exactly the same stats as the Spenner. Guess which ones we're going to be getting? Guess which ones? Alright. Norse Archers. Well, we already have enough culture for those. Now, what was the culture? 55. So we've basically got enough culture to get all of those units. Hmm. What am I going to put there? I think I want some roads though. Right. Now we've got lots of culture there, but we've also got a lot of corruption. That will get rid of some of that, hopefully. And we're going to have to get some of those off. We've got Highland Pikemen. Least because there's some Scottish culture there. Right. I think I'm going to convert it over. It's only going to take one turn. We should be able to use the mushroom hall if we convert over, right? Can watch. Will it convert over? I can't quite remember. Uh, I'll destroy it. Yeah, because we won't be able to get peasants. Alright. Culture there. We've got lots of culture. We'll be alright. That looks like all of our settlements taken care of. So, we can get you moving. We can start making some money there. Right, that general, he's got good loyalty. And I think we can get him off over there. And there's the Scottish fleet. Um, are we going to take anyone from there? No, not yet. There's got to be some of a rebel settlements out there. That's a decent sized force. Highland rebel. Yep. I've got a lot of those in my stainless steel Scottish campaign. That's them. Alright. Aha! Sky. Ooh, you can't even get over there. Right. Well, you stay there. We'll pick you up in a minute. We'll still have some growth if we do that. Now we'll try to get a battle in. We will. There's our other fleet. I did say we had three. I wonder if there's any rebels over there. You've got a, a large army, but no garrison. I think you'd act as a garrison, wouldn't you? Upbeat. 
Um, we'll leave one of those behind. That's my factioneer. That's the one I don't want to get killed. Right, we'll send those up. And then we've got another merchant there. 61, 41. At least they can get some decent money out of there. And we did have two spies, didn't we? Alright, there's more Scots and more rebels. Okay, and we've got some units in there. I swear it said we had another spy. Alright, you're trading, you're trading, you're trading. You've moved. Ah, you were in Blast Castle Town, and I didn't take you out. Right. He's got very good eyesight. Look at that. Go and act as a land bridge. Right, yeah, we will get to those, but we've got to be wary of what the Scots will do. Hmm, I wonder if those will be free upkeep. Still, they will come in useful when we fight the English, because the English will have a lot of uh, cavalry, probably. Remember, the English have to deal with the Baron's Rebellion. Right, we go into that port. Uh, we'll probably take those out next turn. Do we have any other ports? I've uh, got my camera moving too fast there. I don't see any other ports apart from that one. Can we actually get a diplomat anywhere though? Don't think I've seen one yet. Merchants, got enough of those. I don't see any um, diplomats, which is unfortunate. All right, we're going to lose money. Yeah, about four hundred. All right, well, except to you, looks like we actually lost more. But if we get this one, we'll make some nice money. Noise. Right. You and land there. Ah. Yeah, we've got um, some people come to join us. Reinforcements. Alright, they've arrived. Two groups, including a general. Ah, the Scots are massing on our border. Alright, well, maybe we'll be in a war against them right away. Ah, they did not become free upkeep, which is unfortunate. Alright, well, if you want to challenge me, Scots, you go and do that. They're not particularly happy. But we've now got these extra troops. You're going to come out from there. Fifteen percent. We can get rid of some of that. We might go a little bankrupt. All right. That's a pretty decent sized army, which we could use to capture Sky. But now that the Scots are coming up, I think we'll go toward them right away. So you come around there. Make sure you join up. So those are not particularly happy. We did see a Scottish fleet out there though, didn't we? Oh, adoption not completed. Why? 
No, it died already. That's unusual. Huh. Yeah. Our money is going down. Right. But we we're ready to upgrade this one. That'll keep them happy. Right. So I think we want you coming back. We're going to ignore that. We're going to take this army and this army and go after the Scots. And this one can then come and take those territories. Or we might even land over here. Because we do have that mission. And that will get us some good money. I wasn't expecting those reinforcements to come in quite so soon. Probably best to get that one. Squeeze those for a little more money. That'll be alright. Yeah, definitely looks like we're going to get a battle very early on. Now that's a castle, so we won't be able to get diplomats, but capture Perth. Well, we should be able to. Alright, is it going to let us adopt um, Thorkel? There's the Scottish Navy, this is not your fleet. and there's another Scottish Navy. You galoot. Oh, we can attack right away. So yeah, this might be the only battle uh, that we get, but we might as well go in and fight it. That's a beautiful sight. Well, not from uh, this angle. Because if you're looking from this angle, you'd be getting invaded. But yeah, it does look pretty cool. Don't know why the general always starts on that side. That's our Sammy Axeman. Now, the Sammy were a tribe from what? Um, Northern Finland? Northern Sweden? I think. Those are powerful looking units, aren't they? Ooh. Yeah. Dismantled Huskars. We don't even have any light infantry in this one. Ready, lads. And knock their gates down. We could come forward. Oh, we actually have two. Can you fire flaming arrows? Yes, you can. That hurts the enemy's morale. Uh, Fifteen percent damage already. It will be coming down very, very quickly. They're just going to retreat to the town centre, aren't they? And then we should be able to bring up the catapults and pound away at them. So the channel's only up to 514 subs at the moment. We can do better than that. Any advice on growing the channel would be most welcome. Um, I feel like we should definitely have more based upon the number of watch hours and views that we've actually had. But attracting subscribers um, to channels that do uh, Let's Plays in 2023 is not as easy as it would have been five years ago, or ten years ago, or fifteen years ago. Most channels that do Total War now um, 
do things like um, mod installs and overviews, one versus ones, um, or Warhammer content. <laughs> Very few of the big channels actually do any of the older games. They're pretty much um, all stuck on Warhammer, Warhammer 3. Go on, keep pounding away. Although I do see new players coming to Total War um, and doing older games. and even new channels there are a lot of small channels out there there are very few mid-range Total War channels um, somewhere around about 50,000 subscribers I'd say would be mid-range although the biggest channels are well, um, Lionheart X10 and Legend of Total War and both of those are around a about 440, 450,000. But honestly, I can't think um, that many that are below 100,000. Yeah. Our enemy's gates are down. All right, good. Move them up. Put them both on fire at will. And move up. All right. Let's bring you up. What do they actually have in there? Because we're going to bring these units in. Bring those in. Move them up. Oh, some of them are coming forward. And are in range. All right, it actually looks like they want to challenge us. We have captured the enemy's wall. You can form up there then. I'll put them back on skirmish. Are they going to try coming out of the gates? If so, we need to fire on that blob further back. No, uh, they've got somebody who's going to shoot at us. We've actually taken more casualties than they have, oddly enough. I wasn't expecting that. Can we hit those ones? Back there. Right, they actually have come out. They've come out to play, but they are broken. Right, let's go aggressive then. I don't think they'll be able to hold up. We are on very hard, very hard. But they are rabble. You rabble. Keep firing up at that blob. Go on, you should be able to punch through. They must have Highland archers in there. No, they've got peasant archers. Yep, come on in. They're actually doing some damage, aren't they? Even though they've only got peasant archers. Right, looks like we've got a traffic jam there. Go on, move forward. See if we can get them pushed through. I 
think these Sammy X-Men should be scared of them by now. Used up a fair amount of ammunition. I want to hold on to my cavalry. Well, they have knives. I think that's what they've got. No, uh, you're definitely in range. You don't need to move. Come on, get stuck in there. You're uh, now going up against peasant archers. Alright, come on, push through. They're not really engaging too many of the enemy, are they? Come on, get stuck in. You should be decimating them with all those axes. I don't think we could be taking that much friendly fire, but let's stop for a moment with those and manually target them. Yeah, I mean, you're going up against Highland archers and you're taking a lot of blasty casualties. Alright, I think we might even have to bring my last general in. Get him into a flanking position. Go ahead and blow your horn. Yeah, that's what you keep saying. Look how many casualties they're taking. Alright, you stop. It's not firing. Now they don't have that much armor. Still, we shouldn't be taking that many casualties. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, the troops will lose their will. He was only a captain. In any case, wow. It would have looked better if I had taken the order resolve. And I know we are on very hard, very hard, which means they get, I think, a plus eight to defense and plus eight to attack as well. Wow. Is that 50% casualties on that unit? You have to come around in that direction, don't you? This unit might get wiped out. You know? They're literally heavy, heavy infantry. What's their biggest unit? Right, oh, get stuck in there. Hopefully they get up a good charge. 84, 85, 86. 
No, didn't seem that impressive. Of course, they can't break. Do they just take like 10 casualties charging into them from the rear? That's ridiculous. Hmm. Hopefully, we get a lot of replenishment back. It's a third of our army. Still, that is the first territory that's fallen. That's the last guy holding out Highlander. That's a good movie. I like Highlander. It's a very old movie. Still, good one. Whose flag is that? That's a nice flag, isn't it? Alright, what do you get? Like 5, 6% back? Wow. Yeah, exactly. Hmm, if you say so. Well, we get 2,500. Uh, I don't think we're going to exterminate them because we're going to want to tax them. Alright, that money helped. One chivalry. Veteran warrior and shield bearer. Enemy army routes. Alright. Um, we're going to need to convert them as quickly as possible. There's a bunch of Irish over there as well. We've got 50% insurgency. Which ain't good. Now we can get some Irish cones. Now, I had some of those in my stainless steel campaign in Scotland. And they actually had javelins in that, I think. But not in this one. Right. Almost, almost. We can lower your tax. And you're going to be coming over. It's a decent sized force. Now we've got that extra general, didn't we? Where did he show up? Where did he show up? He's not there. Oh, that's where he showed up. Right, there's a Welsh Navy actually. Huh. Right. So, what we can do is come down and pick up that spy, get him over there as well. We can see that Scotland has territory all the way down there, but we don't know where the other settlements are. Apart from those two. But yeah, we're going to call this one the end of this episode. Actually, where did that Scottish army go? Ooh, um, that's not good. They disappeared. Right. I'm going to move them down, even if it upsets them. Oh, those Highlanders are expensive. Hmm. Because we'll use you to attack Inverness, and you need to go and find that army. Where could they have gone? They're hiding up there in the highlands. <laughs>